Hello and welcome to How to Build Your Raised Bed Planter on a Budget, Reclaim Materials Build, Episode 2, Construction. In this video, we're going to show you the construction of a 4x4 size raised bed planter. The construction process is the same, whether it's a 2x2, 2x4, a 4x4, or a 4x10 size planter detailed in our raised bed planters builder's guide. They are all built the same way that we're going to show you here. In this video, we're going to show you how we process our reclaimed lumber, assemble the planter, and then flange the top edge of the planter. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. Here we are showing you some of the reclaimed lumber that we have. The lumber that I have had a lot of nails or screws in it. So uh, using a claw hammer and a uh, nail puller, you're able to pull the nails out. Uh, sometimes you have to hammer them maybe one way or another. So uh, I just pulled all the nails out of this lumber here and got it ready for cutting. Here in cutting our corner wood post, uh, they are cut to a height of 19 and a half inches, or you could go just a tad longer, 20 inches, just to be safe. Here I'm setting up the saw, the stop, so I can just uh, cut, don't have to measure. It makes it a lot easier when you have to cut a lot of these posts. Sometimes on this reclaimed lumber here, uh, you really got to look at it and um, see which is the best way to cut uh, to get the best piece there. As there may be uh, some knots, it may be cracking, so uh, it just takes a moment longer than cutting brand new lumber. And that's it. That's a 2 by 4 and we will double up those pieces to make 4x4. Four four. So the wood planters use 4x4 four four corner post. If you don't have 4x4 four four lumber, that's okay. You can use 2x4s and double them up. What I like to do is drill a hole in the reclaimed lumber. If this is new lumber, you really don't have to do this. But in reclaimed lumber, I find it's a good step. So you drill the hole and then you uh, attach it with a long screw there. Same thing here, you know, just choose your pieces. Sometimes you gotta match a couple together as there may be uh, cracks or checks. Um, so sometimes you, you may wanna align them or organize the pieces there. What I mean is um, when you put the corner post together, uh, try to think of the panel that's gonna attach to it so if the wood's bad on one side, I'll make sure that the bad side is on the inside. Uh, maybe where it's uh, not going to be a, an attaching surface. So that'll become more apparent here when uh, we start doing the assembly. So here, uh, I'll show you very quickly um, the assembly of one side and the second side. We will show you at regular speed. So this will kind of give you an idea. So you'll assemble two sides um, such as this where you attach the corner post. And then on those pieces, you'll attach the metal panels uh, with no corner post. So here we're just taking our 2x4 lumber that was doubled up, setting it on the edge. 
these panels we drilled holes in. If you use self-drilling uh, screws, that's not anything that you have to do. And one completed panel. So we'll show you an uh, assembly of the second panel here. So you just lay out your corner post. Um, you will put them on the edge once you get your panel up on the table and in place. Uh, like I said, my panel, I pre-drilled the holes in there. If you use self-drilling screws, um, that's something that you don't have to do. So here I'm just checking to see which would be the best side for the corner post. Uh, to see where to attach this. Apparently I'm listening to some music. That's why the head bobbing. So the panel, the way you want to arrange it, um, there's a top and a bottom. The bottom it has the very thin side here. So I'm showing you the panel, how the panel would go. Hydration, always proper when working outside. That's the top, that's the bottom. The bottom has the thin edge. So when assembling, uh, I place the bottom towards me. And then you'll assemble uh, with all the short screws do this stage of the process, then you'll flip the panel around and um, screw in the top edge with the longer screws. So here I'm just lining up the panel on the edges and uh, what you want to do is um, you'll just want to make sure that it's relatively square um, and straight. These are the short screws one and a quarter inch construction screws. You can use wood screws or self-drilling screws. So here we're just verifying that it's plumb and kind of straight at a 90. You'll put in one screw first. Sometimes the panel or the wood post likes to move around. And by putting in one screw at the bottom, um, it allows you to adjust. So just check for squareness and then attach your second screw. On these raised bed planters, uh, the way we show you in the builder's guide is there are, um, I guess, six holes for the smaller screws there. Once you have them straight, um, that you're happy with the, the way the wood corner post is, you can go ahead and attach the remaining smaller screws. You notice here that I'm attaching one corner post first and not doing the second one on this stage of the process or the assembly. Uh, I think that's okay. Uh, your main goal is just to attach the corner post and try to get, try to get it relatively straight. If it's off, it's not a big deal, and you'll see why, but it helps. Now, same process on the other side here. So, you'll want to make sure that the post is definitely centered on the bottom. If the post is higher on the top edge, uh, that's not a big deal, and it's actually a little bit beneficial sometimes, especially on the smaller planters. So once again with the short screws, I'll use one screw towards the bottom, kind of partially drive it in there. I'll check for the alignment again, make sure nothing's moved. 
hold the panel down and attach another second smaller screw. Once you're satisfied, you can attach the remaining smaller screws. Alright, here you will see that the top edge, um, what I'm trying to show you is that the top edge is not attached. Here what I'm trying to show you is that the top edge is not attached. And there I'm pointing out that this is a triangulated panel, kind of like the train. Strong. So what I did here was position the, that panel with the top edge towards me. Here you'll use the longer screws, which are the two inch screws. You can get away, I think, with one and a half. Also, but it's just easier with the long screws. So you'll push down the panel, put the screw in, and attach. This is where it uh, can be a little bit beneficial to have your corner post longer than 19.5 inches, uh, which is the length of the panel, as when you attach the top of the panel, um, you can stretch it and by stretching it it gains height um, and this is easier to do on smaller planters so if you have a longer corner post um, if you stretch the panel when you put it down um, it will um, not exceed the length of the corner post the corner post will still be a little bit taller than the panel the panel So there we're just telling you that uh, if you grab it on the top edge, it can be a little weak. That's why we flange the top edge. And it, uh, by flanging the top edge, it makes it uh, a blunt surface there. So there's our second panel. And we'll go ahead and show you how we assemble these. That's the bottom. So we just did up one panel with a wood corner post on one side. And then we get our other panel and put it on the side. And because we pre-drilled the holes in the panel it's easy to attach. This is a benefit to drilling the holes uh, beforehand is that uh, it's easy to line up on the corner post whereas if you use a self-drilling um, screws and you have to drill through the panel um, this is where this stage of the process can be a little bit cumbersome. Here it's easy to align the panel and uh, what you'll do is you'll just want to attach one screw in, you know, at the top. And then that'll allow you to move the panel um, and get it 90 degrees there, you know. And then you can 
finish uh, the assembly. So the way you'll assemble this planter is um, the planter itself is quote unquote upside down, meaning that the top edge is facing uh, the ground here and that uh, the bottom, the skinny edge is towards the top. The reason you do this is uh, because you first attach the short screws and then attach the long screws and by assembling it upside down uh, what you do is you align the panel there with the bottom of the corner post. So you'll get a better idea right here when we put this piece in the last piece. So these panels are 19 and a half inches tall. So if the corner post is, the wood corner post is longer than 19 and a half inches, what you do here is you just slightly lift up the panel a little bit to position your screw. And then um, start to attach. So in assembling these, I've only attached a couple of wood screws or a couple of screws in each uh, corner here. And this will allow you to make any adjustment to the planter um, if you need to, if you feel it's crooked or not straight. And then when you're happy with that, uh, you can do the final uh, assembly there and go ahead and screw in the remainder of the screws. So see there, I just screwed in one screw. You're just checking to make sure that the panel is relatively straight, plumb, 90 degrees. The other panel. We're happy there, so attach another screw. And uh, since we're happy with the alignment of everything, we go ahead and finish driving in the smaller screws. So here we are at the last stage here, flanging the top edge. So you'll use a crescent or adjustable adjustable wrench, crescent wrench. And set the gap there as shown between like an eighth and a quarter. And uh, what you'll do is you'll just place the wrench on the edge there, bend down a little bit. You'll have about uh, an inch to two inch in between your bends, you know, space them, bend down and just kind of work your way. It'll take a total of about four passes to take that from uh, the position it was to about 90 degrees there. And what you can see here is where I'm bending, you bend down and then the high spots that are kind of left in the middle, you'll go back through, bend those down. And uh, it'll take about a process of about four passes. Less is more here, meaning uh, small bends spaced rather than uh, try to go uh, big bends. And here I'm just moving around the planter so you can see the front side.
And uh, once this planter is flanged, it's easy to kind of grab on the side, meaning, I mean, you're able to grab it on the side and it's strong. So these smaller planters, you can just grab them on the side, walk them into place, do the planter dance because you're happy, and you're all done. That's it. The assembly of a 4x4 raised bed planter. Thanks for watching How to Build Your Raised Bed Planter on a Budget, Episode 2, Construction. We hope you join us in the next video, Episode 3, where we're going to show you how to pimp your planter. In that video, we're going to show you how you can customize and accessorize your planter to better suit your needs. I'm the Resourceful Mechanic. Hope you have a great day from Valentine Station, and we'll see you in the next one.